Hello and welcome to Hitman Out of Bounds Fun Part 8. I'm Aztec Ninja, and today we are traveling to Mumbai, India to look beyond the slums, shawls, and towers to see if anything worth discovering is hidden out of sight. Like always, I will explore every nook and cranny, leave no stone unturned, and show you only the best bits of the Out of Bounds secrets that Mumbai has to offer. And here is Mumbai, India, everyone. What a beautiful day to walk the streets. It's kind of blurry out here. I guess I need glasses. So anyways, down this street, you can see a bunch of people walking in circles. There's the train over there. Good to know. Oh, wait. The train's over there. I need to see this. And it vanishes. So the train wraps around there and poofs. And the more you know. Man, I wouldn't want to live here. Oh, hey, it's the track. I didn't think I'd get on the track so early. What shall I do? I know. I'll get hit by a train. Hello, train. Oh, oh dear. It's solid. It moved me. I'm on top of the train. And that's pretty much it. So no, I do not think I can catch a lift. Here's what Mumbai looks like from below. Here's a part of the slums you never see. All metal roofs. But let's go on the track a little bit more. Guys, I'm not trespassing. I'm innocent. Trust. Right, there is a lawn chair. Oh, train. Oh, dear. Okay. I'm trying to get to this overpass. There we go. I didn't think this would be solid. And you can travel into this part of the slums. Once again, a bunch of metal roofs everywhere. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit further from the track so I don't get stuck like I did. So this is the bridge that the train crosses to get into this part of the city. And as you can see, now it's on its way. So I'm going to kindly move to the side here so that hopefully it won't run me over again. There you go. I made room for you. You're welcome. I don't know why all of this is solid. Okay. Oh well, here's the city. And then the slums. Okay, okay, so back this way. It seems like I'm keeping up with the train this time. <laughs> Never mind. I guess I have to go back to town. Let's try this side. And no solid ground to walk on. Oh, the buildings are hollow. Uh, I seem to be doing some parkour. As you may tell, it's not going so well. So I've managed to get this high so far. I aspire to go a little bit more though, until I reach the top. And right over there, in broad daylight, you can see a man with a gun. And yes, I do realize how hypocritical that may be. Nevertheless, there can only be one. Oh hey, here's the second street. Okay, this area is far worse, and it's not very pretty out here whatsoever. But hey, massive pipe. Massive pipe, 10 out of 10. Everything else, zero. No entry. Just a simple hop. Another jump. Uh-oh. Here I am inside of this massive pipe. What flows through them, you ask? Probably poop. No, no, that's not a joke. Look at this. They go to the river. See, I'd never lie about poop. Because I always take shit seriously. How about this cement pool? Oh dear. Let's try this one on for size. 47 can not only interact with this pool, but he can also stand in it. And finally, this one. Oh, this is the most interesting one. Next on the list is Ronkin Tower. This is exactly where we want to be. And uh, let's try to climb. I'm just a floating pair of sunglasses. What more do I need to be? Reality outside is starting to deteriorate. Okay, let's try that again. So I found a small balcony that overlooks the slums. But making that discovery doesn't make climbing this any easier. Okay, I was about to give up there. I've been doing this for 16 minutes. There you can see the outside. And I am very close to the surface. So it should just take one more jump. And I'm on top of the tower. Never mind. Look at this cool bush. Did you guys really think I wouldn't make save files? Here's what the city looks like. You can see the train passing down there, and on this side you can see the slums. I still want to climb higher though. Just one more, and I am at the very, very top of the tower. That only took 30 minutes. You know, India has a lot less traffic than I thought it would. 
Oh, and by the way, this is what the top of the shaft looks like. Next up is the beach area. So here on the beach, the sand goes out further than you would expect it to, all the way to these pillars. You get a good look at the underside of this tugboat, very deep waters, and it even goes under the barge here. But all things come to an end, this is the end result. How do I even begin to describe what's happening here? Here I go into the lion's den. This area is so dense I'm just going to climb on top of everything until I have something cool to say. You know, I thought this would make walking through the slums a lot easier, but it's not really helping. But now I'm on top of the overpass. Here's the crow's hideout from this point of view. You know, seeing this makes me think I can get on top of that bridge. Fantastic, I found the next thing that's gonna take me 30 minutes. Okay, this isn't so bad so far. 2,000 years later. I am so close, yet so far. Oh, wait, I think this is it. There are zero cars. Okay, now I'm going to run this way, and it looks like this road has come to an end. Other than that, it's just a bunch of copy and pasted buildings. Oh yeah, and the void. We still have one more side to explore, the side that takes us into the city. So if that bridge over there failed us, I wonder if this one will too. Nope, we're still going, and believe it or not, I'm actually going to get there. So if you guys have never been to Mumbai in real life, this is what it looks like. Everyone knows about the flat brick field. I can... stay... okay. That's where that ends. I've now come full circle back to the crow's hideout, just to stand on top of their tree. Nice tree. Here's the crow's hideout exit, and here's where it actually leads. Nowhere special. The last thing of the crows that I need to look at is the hill. So upon the hill we can do some parkour, and this is our view of the slums, but we still have this part to look at, which at the end of it, it leads us into the laundry area. Okay, now that I've quietly secured the area, we can continue with the showcase. So first thing, of course, we want to get to the end of this and into this pipe. At the end of it, isn't much other than this. So if you like to see this, then good for you. Is this a shortcut? Oh, this goes through town. There's actually a little tunnel system with this, and it makes it all the way back over here. I was not expecting that. I'm afraid this is where it ends, though. Back at the tower. He's fine. Now they'll never see me coming. Sorry about that, I kind of got sidetracked. I feel very clean right now in this clean cleaning liquid. We can climb up here and make our way to the top of this. I'm above everything now, but I'm not on top yet. Almost. And I've made it. And this is as high as you can get over here. That means there's only just two more locations to look at. So with that being said, let's get started with the train yard. So out in the train yard is a junkyard, which not much happens behind the junk. But I guess some cleanup is better than no cleanup. I'll take a peek inside here, just in case there's anything I should mention. There really isn't much to do up here other than look at everything else. And that's all you need to know about the train yard. Now for the final, final area of the showcase, the Mumbai Shawls. Why am I here, you might ask? Well, it's to get on top of the building, of course. And there you have it, everybody. I've stood on top of every main building in Mumbai. A lot of surprising results from this one, such as newfound heights and unexpected depths. If you liked the video and would like to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything to say, and be sure to join me next time when we go to Whittleton Creek, Vermont, and the Isle of Seagal. But other than that, I've been Aztec Ninja, and this has been Mumbai India, and I'll see you guys in the next one.